Well, this is one of my favorite times in the program because this is when Mullane visits and introduces us to some great families. And today, these people have been voted the best of on the lakeshore for a decade. And this family's passion for produce is what keeps customers coming on back. And now this year, you'll get an education when you look for your fresh finds. We've become so very well known that we actually see people come in and ship stuff at times to uh, New York City, to Los Angeles, because we do some things that are, people feel are more special than anybody else does. It's prime season at the Wilford Farm Stand. Our farm's been in the family, in the Wilford family, since 1877. Uh, I also have a piece of land that I own that was in my mother's family since about 1860. So we, we feel we got some fairly deep roots in, in Wisconsin and Manitowoc County. I grew up on a dairy farm, a little dairy farm milking 31 cows. And uh, I started out as six years old in the barns working with calves. By the time I was 11, I started milking daily. I missed three milkings on my way to my first day at college in Oshkosh. And after that, I haven't milked a cow since. David's wife, Terry, was also involved in agriculture from little on. I grew up on a dairy farm in Kiwani County. Um, my family raised registered Holstein, so I actually went to UW-Madison and got a dairy science degree that I graduated with. Um, Never thought I'd be raising vegetables for a living. In the 70s, following a family health scare, the Wilford family transitioned away from cows to focus on crops. Mother Nature gave their business a boost. In 88, we had a contract with Green Bay Canning Company for 40 acres of green peas. Everyone's green peas dried up and vanished because of the drought. We were just starting to irrigate at the time, so we had 40 acres of the most beautiful peas you could find. And people came and said, can we end up buy some of those peas to eat? In addition to the fresh market fruit and vegetables, Wilford Farm has two other divisions. The second division would be our processing vegetable division, which includes mainly carrots, but also some green beans. Our third division is our grain and oil seed division. The Wilford son, Ryan, heads up the field work. Tillage, planting, uh, for all of the variety of different crops we plant, I believe it's 30 some odd crops. The farm embraces new technology. I'm 25 years old now. Uh, coming to see one of the biggest things is all the GPS and other computer uh, precision we've seen implemented into agriculture. Gone from basically driving following a tree or something at the end of the field to stay straight to uh, having sub-inch accuracy with uh, RTK uh, GPS signal. And it becomes just a precision and accuracy of what you can do uh, increases your efficiency so you're never overlapping and you're never missing. Same thing with the sprayer, it does the same thing. So it, nothing is being oversprayed or undersprayed. Terry's main role is connecting with the consumer at the farm and Manitowoc's market. A lot of people are waiting for us when we get down there on Saturday morning to see what we all have available and um, it's always enjoyable to see them every year after you have the winter off and then you come back in spring. They just, I can't wait for those fresh vegetables again. Well, we start in May with asparagus, so that's, you know, it's a little slow at times then, but then we get right into our strawberry and pea season about six weeks after the asparagus starts, and that's really when you get into the hype of the season, into the busy part of the year, and then we're open through the end of October. We finish with pumpkins. No two summers are the same, part of what the family loves. Keeps it interesting, that's for sure. It's, you're always working with a variety of different challenges and different scenarios that are going on. And as far as uh, it's, it's never the same, every day is different, you know, and that's part of what keeps it interesting and makes it fun also. Now, the Wolford family is also very involved in their community. David serves on the board of directors from the Manitowoc Chamber of Commerce, and the farm supports the Michigan FFA. They also donate tons of food annually to several food pantries, and they sell it at discount to groups holding cornrows fundraisers. And just a Note for you, because of this year's hot, dry weather, well, produce is running a little ahead of schedule.